Wake up, honey, cuz it's- Pride Month is a particularly uncomfortable- Always seem to be talking about kids or corrupting them in some form or fashion. If you don't want to date a transgender woman or man, that does not make you transphobic. Okay, so I think that therapy is in session. It's that time of year again. That time of year where corporations parade us with pride flags and homophobes, yes, they use it. But today they're doing us a service because today we're going on TikTok and we're gonna look for the cream of the pile among homophobes and transphobes and react to the words of wisdom they have to offer. Woo! Girl thought she ate that. She really out here with the woo! When in reality, that text could literally say anything. Like, she could literally type, Woo! And that's the thing I've noticed with a lot of these TikToks. They don't have any substance. It's just people saying, I don't like queer people. And just letting that sit there because they think it's groundbreaking. I am homophobic. I am transphobic. And I am against pronouns. This is why LGBTQ and this is why Satan is pushing this agenda so hard because at the end of the day, the Lord created man for woman. And the Lord created razor blades for your mustache. I suggest you get on that, honey. Because I don't think the Lord's going to push any girls towards you with that on your face. Is it gay? To date a trans woman, let's find out. Yeah. I'm sorry, what is bro here wearing? You out here saying that people who date trans people are gay, but you're wearing a hat looking like this? Like I'm telling you, they do this to themselves. You know I'm gonna come after you for that hat. You look like you miss your boyfriend so much. You steal his clothes and repurpose it so you feel closer to him. You know, he looks like a teddy bear. He looks like that overly attached boyfriend that's just not gonna let you go. Cause he just needs that. He looks like he needs that. I'm sorry, honey. I think you need to go back to your place, change, and ask them to redo the interview because I can't believe the interviewee didn't just slash your clip with you wearing that. Pride Month used to be about love, and now it's about sex <laughs> and attention. Honey, what pride parties are you going to? Because literally, I go to a pride party in North Carolina, and all I see is corporations giving off rainbow merch. Like, you're saying Amazon's looking at me that way? Ooh, or do I need an Amazon Prime subscription to get that kind of action? That's probably it, isn't it? I'm trans, and I've been a stepmother for the last two years. He's five now and has no idea that I'm transgender. He's not ready for that conversation and we don't plan to tell him for a very long time until he's old enough to understand. Five-year-olds believe Santa Claus exists. I'm sorry, honey. You look like you're ordering at Subway or Chipotle. You're like, I want the extra vinegar. Yes. I also want the guacamole. Yes. I know it's an extra dollar, but I want the guacamole. Yes. I also want the iceberg lettuce. As for Missa here, you're literally telling your kid lies about Santa Claus, but you can't explain to them the concept of being transgender. Like you think it's better for them to believe about an old man that breaks into the home every year but you can't teach them about estrogen and testosterone no one is expecting your five-year-old to want to fully transition at best they're probably gonna wear a dress and put it on lipstick who's she uh his name is sam is she staying for dinner uh yes he is he, she can't stay why can't you just let it go i feel like maybe they they get a sense of power they feel that it gives them meaning so they have to do it again and then again and then again and then again because they want more they go i need more Black girl, go outside. You really out here making videos about how much people's pronouns bother you? Meanwhile, this little genocide going on. This may come as a surprise to you, but I rarely get misgendered by children. When I was an English teacher in Spain and I told my students I use they, they pronouns, I can't remember a single time any of them misgendered me. But when it comes to adults, some of them out here are being like, Kara, and I'm 22 years old and I don't have pronouns. Anyways, but this man seems to not be having it. So let's see what he has to say. Nine times out of 10, when I see these videos on Libs or TikTok, these people on the radical side of the LGBTQ movement always seem to be talking about kids or corrupting them in some form or fashion. Corrupting them. When I told my students that I used they them pronouns, I was secretly hoping that I would turn a couple of them queers. Listen, TJ Bradley, you better stop now or otherwise you're gonna get to the bottom of this queer agenda. And it's better if you don't find out about the master plan to turn all men gay and take over the world. Oh, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate? <laughs> I was talking to a trans man on here and it actually started off to be a very productive, respectful conversation. However, he kept referring to me as cisgender. Y'all up there with Elon Musk being like, oh, sis, I hate that word. You are attacking me. It is a slur, a slur. When honey, the only one that's making it a slur is you. Like what, what, why do you get so angry when you hear the word cisgender? Like what? Is it the cis part? Who do y'all think are more attractive? Liberals or conservatives? Hey, conservative people in general. Typically conservative men. Girl, you're out here asking girls wearing a cowboy hat if liberals or conservatives are more attractive. Like, I noticed you're not wearing a cowboy hat. So before I ask you any questions, 
Are you a liberal or a conservative? I'm a liberal. Oh, never mind. Bud Light has partnered with transgender TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney, and some people are not happy about it, who shared a video shooting cases of the beer. You see, this is why I can't take you all seriously. Why are you out here literally shooting cans of beers? The beers ain't gonna do anything to you. You are literally doing stuff that makes no sense. Meanwhile, some of us just want you to use our pronouns. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, cool off, cool off. Christians are pointing to trans people and saying trans people are harming our children simply because you don't understand what transness means. Ah, uh, yes, Christians. The second most popular group to attack right after all men. I feel so bad for men. You know, they have it so hard. They have all this privilege. They can just walk into any establishment and even be rude to the staff and there probably won't be any consequences. Damn, I mean, when you have so much privilege and almost no systematic consequence for being you, it's hard. Life really is hard. If you don't want to date a transgender woman or man, that does not make you transphobic. Just like if you are a white man and you don't want to date a black woman, an Asian woman, a Hispanic woman, that doesn't make you racist. She had to go there. Of course she had to go there. You know, Hispanic, Asian, black, they're all just items on a menu. If I don't want to date someone because they're Hispanic, that's the same as me not wanting to eat rice because of carbs. You know, they're both two sentient groups of people who are being oppressed. Why can't you see the similarities between the two? No, um, just because people aren't attracted to you doesn't make them any type of phobic. The conservative gays, yes, I have to acknowledge they exist, but come on, like, do you really have to be a stereotype? You're a buff white dude who obviously have privilege. And why is it becoming a trend to just attack transphobes? It's like you want to be a part of the mainstream so bad that you're willing to attack basically your own community so you can get that. That is retask, really desperate honey. That face though, that face is giving. If that's the case, I can see where you're coming from, honey. Dear white women, listen. What are you trying to do there at like the start of the video? Honey, you don't seem cool. It just seems like you're trying to humiliate this person. You only play in this if you value your life. Is that a threat? And you just have to say that it sounds like they're threatening you. Not from a buff white dude. If they were white, would you still be making that eye? Because I have a feeling now, I'd have a feeling that anything that comes out of the mouth, you'd think is a threat. Being trans is not an ideology. It's just an aspect of who I am. We go back to the conservative queers that want to be a part of the mainstream. Like you want Fox News to feature you so bad. And as for every other queer that's not as privileged. Ah! Girl, what even is an LGBTQ friendly book for kindergartners? non-binary slash queer people exist, but we somehow normalize the fact that kids don't learn about them until they're older. Like you're teaching kindergartners things that they're gonna have to unlearn when they're older. How does that make any sense? The only reason that an image of two guys kissing is not appropriate for kids is because you made it inappropriate. If you think romance is inappropriate for kids, then honey, let's go down the Disney rabbit hole and eliminate that ah! from our children. I got misgendered at work on Wednesday. I was three hours into my long shift. I immediately was like, no, I need to leave. So I left, I went home. And since then, I have have been spiraling. Spiraling. She rewinded if you need to, she smiled. Spiraling. How do you a therapist? That she had something happen that she is able to hop up on TikTok and make a video about, first of all, get that content, that clout. Also, I love how she literally says that this person is making content for clout while they're also making content about them for clout. But you have to take it one step further. Cause not only do you have to make that good old content for clout, you have to make content that attacks people. Ooh, and you know, if someone's lit emotionally, I think it's you, honey. I think you're the one that's definitely getting a little bit lit on misgendering this person. And I think you really enjoy it. Anyways, I think my self-esteem and depression has had it for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I hope that you enjoyed watching and that you are surrounded by rational people. Like this video if you want to see more like it, and comment down below which TikToker that you saw you thought was the most delusional. I love you, and I hope that you're having a fantastic day and a wonderful Pride Month. Anyways, bye!